Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video to uh, try to help make sense of the uh, Roketa GK-01 wiring harness. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go get this wiring diagram. You can find it online, just Google uh, Roketa GK-01 wiring diagram. Uh, it'll be one of the top results. Uh, this one I got from Kazuma.com. Uh, they're all, they should all be the same. Um, the one that I have here, my, uh, dune buggy, I have a different engine on it. I, uh, just bought a new one off eBay because the first one was, uh, really, like, busted up and stuff. So, uh... But I was able to use all the original wiring harness and stuff that uh, comes with the normal one. I actually bought a replacement wiring harness online from Roketa, but it doesn't work with it. I had to uh, return it. So you can use the original wiring harness with um, like an aftermarket engine. You just got to make sure that's the right kind. I think it's like a QMJ or something like that. Um, so, I pretty much, when I did this, I pretty much ignored all of this stuff because it's not really worthwhile um, or important at all. Um, so, here's your magneto, which is right inside of there. It's just your alternator. Um, all the stuff like the stoplight, the horn... Uh, those should all be pretty self-explanatory because they have different shaped uh, Plastic pieces on the back of them to connect them all so hopefully that makes That makes more sense to you. I have uh, this extra one which I put in just because I broke one of my switches um, I mean this doesn't do anything because I haven't I don't have it hooked up the horn works uh, the kill switch works. These are headlights. Um, and then there's the ignition. So, uh, for the headlights, I just went ahead and wired it myself because it's so much easier than trying to figure out the way they have it done. So, all I did was I ran an extra wire onto the battery ran it up to the switch and then split it so that it went to each of the headlights. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the more like important stuff is all back here though. So here's your fuse. Uh, this is an extra kill switch I added just like so no one could take it. Um, so here's your starter relay right here. Uh, It'll be, I mean, you can see it's really technical, <laughs> all the engine start stuff. Um, so basically, this wire, you can try to follow it. It's going to go down to, um, the, it's going to go right there to the starting motor, if you trace it out. So this goes to the starting motor. This goes down to the, uh battery through there and then this bundle right here will go to the ignition switch and so what happens is uh, when you turn the key it'll just connect these two um, and start it uh, also here you might be able to hear this but this is a way to test and see if you have done it correctly because when you turn the switch, you should hear a magnet clicking. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a magnet clicking inside of there. Um, and then this is your CDI. This controls the timing and stuff like that of your engine. But all these plugs are pretty, they're all different shapes. So you can't plug it into anything else. You have to plug it in there. Um, fuse, um, 
I'm actually not completely sure what that is. Um, I thought it was the blinker unit when I put it in, but I don't think it is. Um, so, some of this stuff, like here, you can see that it's a pink wire that I plugged into it and a red one. It doesn't have the white trace on it, and then I just connected it like that. But, um, these, the gray and the black, are on this. Um, and then here is one of the more important pieces. This is, this goes to the spark plug. So I got a, like, yellow with a black trace. Or I guess it could be the other way around. And then a black wire. And this black wire is in this bunch right here. I did this myself. So if you don't have one of these, that's why. Um, and then this will go down and lead to your spark plug in there. So, um, and then this one, this bundle right here, this goes down and this leads to, uh, the alternator right there, you can see. So, um, that's what this bundle does. That's a really important one. You can see, like, this wire with the blue and white trace connected to the yellow um and then these two red wires are joined together um i'm just trying to point everything out so that if you're wondering what gets connected what colors get connected then you'll know um oh here this is an important piece and this is also a big mistake i made this is the rectifier right here. It has a like heat dissipation grills on it. And uh, so this big, it'll be a square plug. Uh, it's got like several inputs. Um, you can see that mine's burned up because when I was doing the headlights, I wired the headlights in uh, on this circuit here and it fried the rectifier when I was driving. Like a cloud of smoke came out. So that's why I have the headlights uh, attached directly to the battery because I didn't want that to happen again. So there's a piece of advice, I guess. If you're trying to figure out how to do the headlights, you might just want to go ahead and put them on, wire them yourself, because it's a lot easier. Um, I think that's pretty much all the big stuff I've gotten covered. Um, there's one last piece that's really important. And that is, you can see it down in there. Uh, it's got the black cover on it, this piece. This is your uh, auto choke. So when it's starting, that's really important. It won't start without that. And so we can trace that. It goes here. It's this black bundle. It goes down through here, up through here, and it's connected this piece right here so it's got grays and whites that's the piece um i think that should be pretty much all that needs explanation um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll try to get right back to you thanks for watching